record numbers of Americans are hitting retirement age in 2024. Mm. So each facing the anxiety-inducing question, do I have enough saved? Yeah, that's a good question. Nearly 40% of households face a substandard of living in retirement. And as Jill Schlesinger reports, it's forcing some out of retirement and back to work. This is certainly not part of Larry Gessick's retirement plan. The 77-year-old electrician by trade leaves at 5.30 a.m. and heads for his part-time job unloading trailers at a local supermarket in St. Petersburg, Florida for $14.75 an hour. His wife, Joyce, 66, prepares for her workday, making $14 an hour as a full-time legal administrator. It's not really a retirement. What is it? It's working every day. The Gessicks came out of retirement not because they wanted to, but because they had to, and are among the 11 million Americans, one in five over 65, who are still working. It's hard, 77, still busting my butt. So I call it the work, retire, repeat syndrome. Labor economist Teresa Ghilarducci says work is the new retirement. More than half of the people who are retired right now do not have enough money to be retired. Oof. Who's to blame for all of this? I blame policymakers who experimented with our retirement system 40 years ago, and they are not saying the experiment failed. That experiment is what we know today as the 401k, named after part of a 1978 law that offered companies an alternative to the traditional pension plan. The thought was that Americans just need a little bit of financial literacy mm -hmm. and they can just save on their own. But in fact, many of today's older workers were never taught enough about saving and investing for retirement. I grew up on a farm. Mm -hmm. Nobody there instructed any of us to put money aside and make your own way later on down the road. Whether you're past 65 like the Gessicks or almost their ages, there are a few rules of the road to keep in mind. Basically, everyone needs a plan. First, figure out when it's best to claim Social Security. Next, fund an emergency reserve. Still working? Set aside six to 12 months worth of living expenses. Already retired? Make it one to two years worth. And keep that reserve in a safe, easily accessible interest-bearing account. Like many working Americans, the Gessicks were more doers than savers. They drained their 401ks. I think to uh -huh. us it felt more like a savings account than to focus on, I need to have this piled up to actually yeah. live on. They have a mortgage, a car loan, and are paying down about $12,000 in other debt. But even with Social Security, some old pension funds, and their paychecks, money is tight. All these expenses and the debt pay down leaves you with very little money every month, right? Yes. How much is that? $50. Had the Gessicks waited to age 70 to claim Social Security, they would be collecting more. Can you look at a time where you feel like you can breathe a little more easily, or are you still under stress? Yeah, it's stressful now, mm -hmm. but I think we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Getting there won't be easy. For I in America, Jill Schlesinger in St. Petersburg, Florida.